ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like that opener. Uh, it is Sunday afternoon, and uh, today is the day. Uh, I, I played with this for a little bit yesterday. I played with it a little bit this morning with Sunny, and then I was video following Carol around. And uh, just like there's so many different modes, and uh, another good, a really good information piece of information for all the guys who uh, might have a 70D. This uh, Zion Crane 2 works on the follow focus. So I think every Canon camera possibly works with this crane, which is amazing. I thought the follow focus wasn't going to work with it. Um, the other thing, too, is uh, I, I attached the cable from that to the camera. So now I can do the follow focus. I can, do, I can change settings on the fly. Uh, and I can press the record button and stop recording with this as opposed to having to touch the camera which I thought I was going to have to start doing but uh, that was one good thing that happened this morning I also rebalanced the whole thing I tried it with the microphone on it thinking that I would, might shoot uh, Paul in the kitchen uh, doing the cooking review with this camera and the microphone on top but uh, now it's not going to work we're going to have to either mic him up separately uh, or buy the, the mini road mic that could sit on top because when you're s moving it around in certain positions, uh, the, the, the new road mic is just so big that it gets in the way and bounces off the, the frame. So I just thought it would come down to uh, a marina here and uh, shoot some footage and see how much stuff I can shoot before I get kicked out. Well, let's do it. This is the selfie mode. I'm just gonna walk around. I, I, I'm, right now you guys are hearing the microphone from the camera, no regular, like a good microphone. It's just the camera's microphone. And I'm holding the stick straight up and down. And if I start to tip it back, it starts to look down. If I start to tip it back, it starts to look up. If I twist, twist it this way, it starts to pan. Twist it this way, it starts to pan. Just in case I wanted to see what was going on behind me. The only problem with this situation is I can't see what I'm shooting. So I'm just trying to see 
what it's like to, to, to vlog with this. It's a, it's a stupid, <laughs> stupid setup to vlog with. I think I spat on the lens. But it's a really dumb situation to, it's very heavy. It's at least 12 pounds maybe. I'm gonna switch hands. Gotta switch the hands up. But yeah, I spit right on the lens. I'm not sure how my, <laughs> oh boy, that's gonna wreck it. But uh, yeah, I'm super happy with it. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of the footage. Again, it's all about walking heel to toe, heel to toe, and you, you had to walk really smoothly. Uh, I did a couple spots where I just kind of walked normally with it, just to see. It still will jolt around. It's definitely going to take the smoothness. And again, this is one other problem is right now I'm in selfie mode. If I double tap mode, single tap mode should have gone into looking that way. And I don't, oh, I guess I have to do that. There we go. Now I'm into that mode. And I can control the up and down. Oh, see now I hit. This is called uh, PF. And it's not facing that way, which it should be right now. So it's almost like I have to shut it off and restart again just to make it work properly. All right, powering down. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are up at Barry, the Galaxy Theater. We're going to see that new Matt Damon movie, Suburbia, or something like that. We just went to Mark's Work Warehouse, got myself two new pairs of jeans the last ones are ripped and we're we're getting really close to theater movie time and then after that we're going to go to dinner we haven't got decided what we want to eat yet but uh, we'll do a little review and uh, let you know how this movie is matt damon's in it it's probably freaking amazing so that's why we picked it <laughs> you know we've got these cute and that's from the costco yeah let me see it this is if you want to save a little bit of money a lot of money how much does this save? Does it save? Like $9. So you save like nine bucks apparently if you go this is two emissions, uh, two regular drinks and a popcorn. Geo Storm's over, Matt Damon, Julianne Moore, Suburbicon. True story. From director George Clooney. Nice. Okay. Okay. Let's rate that one. Okay, acting was superb. Yes. Nothing wrong with the acting whatsoever. Let's talk about the storyline. The storyline. <laughs> it was whack. Yeah. And the fact that Julianne Moore played two people confused the hell out of me for the first 20 minutes to maybe even 40 minutes of the movie because I wasn't sure which of the two was the kid's mom. What fixed the leaf? I'll drive? No. You drive? It's funny, she's like, oh, do you want to keep this ticket? Because with the ticket, you can purchase a, a digital download. That will be part of our rating system. <laughs> <laughs> Would you use the ticket to get a digital download of that movie? And the answer is no. no. It was a drama. Wouldn't that be called a, th a thriller? A thriller drama. It said actually on the movie site, comedy, drama. Comedy? Thriller. I didn't yeah. see any comedy in that. No. There was no comedy in that. Not. This is an indifferent, I guess, if you want to use the same rating system as my food thing. It's indifferent. It's like, I wouldn't say it, would, it was not a would not recommend. It's... It's a drama. Yeah. A whole bunch of crap happens. Lots of crap. <laughs> It's one of those things where, you know, yeah. somebody does something wrong and it just keeps getting worse. Snowballs. It, it just, just snowballs, snowballs out of control and it just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. And Yeah. So, there you go. There's our uh, rating. Uh, it's an indifferent. I hate to tell people not to see a movie because the acting was superb, but the story was just whack. And it's, I think it was based on a true story, too. So, I don't know. Yeah. I'm not sure. Let us know in the comments below. I'm pretty sure it is. One of the trailers said it was based on a true based story. Based on a true story. But not for this movie. I think one of the tr other trailers. Maybe. Oh, maybe I'm getting confused. All right, let's go to get dinner.
decided to do uh, Jack Astors. And they're kind of doing a little play on the whole jackass because the lights usually flicker and the T-O-R disappears. Here, I just got like a straight up bacon and cheeseburger with fries, uh, gravy. Carol got the Thai bowl, is it? Yeah, Thai, Thai chicken bowl. Thai chicken bowl with an extra sauce. Uh, our waitress, Tori, she's like, oh, you, you might want to order an extra sauce because there's a lot of rice and uh, it's good to pour extra sauce on it. But it looks good. It does look That's good. That's like picture perfect. Yeah. You going to take a picture? Pardon? Are you going to take a picture of it? Oh well. I'll take a picture of everything. Well, what did you think of the dinner? It was really good. Yeah, yours is super awesome. Did you like the extra sauce? Yes. Although it got everywhere. Well, on the outside of the bowl, so I guess when they somehow. were cooking it, it somehow slopped on the side of the bowl. Uh, That's okay. My burger was... It's a, it was a, it'd be a wood recommend. I, I just didn't want to... I didn't want like a big steak dinner or anything, so I just went with a regular cheese cheeseburger, cheese bacon burger. Bacon cheeseburger. Yeah. Well, the, and it was... So, what? Oh, sorry. I'll let you finish. And the fries were okay, and the, but the gravy was good. Yeah. yeah. And? Well, the, the Thai chicken bowl, it was delicious because the vegetables were cooked, but still nice and crispy. Ah, and not overdone. No. And then the little, they were like little tiny chicken nugget bites. They were, yeah. they were deep you fried, breaded, and, but they were bite sized and yeah. it was lovely. Awesome. Yeah. That was a go out and get it now? Uh, definitely. All right. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoyed today's vlog. A little bit of everything, kind of. Whoa. I'm gonna try and always incorporate. I know I always say things and I never do them, but <laughs> I'd, I'd love to incorporate food into every single vlog somehow. Cause that's what you guys like. Everybody eats. And everybody's gotta eat every day. So, well, that's right. Usually. Most people, unless you're incarcerated in a third world country and they don't feed you. Anyway guys, <laughs> thanks for watching. Have a great <laughs> evening and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.